Welcome, Army fans. This is Joe Icono with GoBlackKnights.com, along with Army linebacker, uh, currently yearling rising cow, Caleb Fortner. Caleb, how was practice today? Pretty good, sir. It was a good day of practice today. It really was. Good stuff. So, you know, last time Army fans had a chance to see in action, right, was in the big Navy game. You had the huge strip sack touchdown, made the big play on the uh, – the tackle near the goal line there, kind of on the penultimate play right before the game ended there on the uh, the goal line stand. Um, you know, talk about what that was like, what kind of momentum that gave you kind of going into the offseason and, and kind of did that fire you up at all? Or, you know, I, I know it was that like a short-lived thing emotionally for you or is it something that's still exciting you and motivating you as you go into spring practice here? Uh, yes, sir. I I wouldn't say it was a short-lived thing. I mean, it was still a, a crazy uh, series of events that happened there for me. And, um, you know, I just, I felt like I took advantage of my opportunity. And uh, I really helped that senior class get the victory. And that's really ultimately what I wanted to do there. But moving forward, um, propelling here in the spring, spring ball, I think it really has kind of like set the uh, the tone for me in, a, in terms of like, you know, the the standard and what, I, what I've set forth just with that game alone, uh, like in terms of, our room, the linebacker room, um, you know, everybody in there can play. Everybody in there deserves a play. Um, it's just a matter. It's a mentality. And I think, uh, I think we've been doing a good, great job this spring doing that. And then also just, uh, you know, that type of game I had there, um, you know, I, I just, I want to make sure, you know, that's the standard moving forward for my, myself, my, my play. And uh, it's what my team deserves is ultimately, you know, it's, it's a brotherhood. It's not about me. I want to make sure my team wins. Absolutely. And, um, you know, obviously having to replace star linebacker Leo Lowen, who's graduating, moving on potential to the NFL or the Army, either one, uh, but had a great career. Uh, that's a lot of productivity to replace. Um, you know, we've heard a little bit about some of the names. We've even seen a lot of the guys play, Brett Jarena and some others. Uh, um, talk a little bit about some of uh, you mentioned the linebacker room. Talk a little bit about some of the depth in the linebacker room. It's one of the strongest position groups on the team, to be honest with you, at least in our analysis. Um, talk a little bit about that depth, maybe some of the younger players who are coming on who maybe some of the fans haven't heard of. Yes, sir. I think uh, you know, when you when you talk about Army's defense, um, you know, the, the linebackers are always the heart of the uh, the defense, and they're usually you know, the uh, the dogs of the defense. And I think that's been the case here for the past couple of years. Uh, talk about some guys that are playing at the next level and then um, Leo aspiring to play at the next level on Sundays as well. I think in the room right now, some of the younger guys that you guys maybe not have heard of but will soon is uh, Baylor Newsom, um, Jacksonville, Florida. He's uh, he's coming along really well this spring in terms of the knowledge with the playbook. And then uh, just a really physical, fast, fast guy. Um, should do really well for us uh, on the field next year. And then another one is uh, Noah Nixon at the mic position. Um, slowly, you know, coming along with the playbook, understanding his uh, assignment. Just another big, strong kid that's uh, that's going to be well for us. And then obviously he's talked about Brett Jarena. And then another one, uh, Andy Thomas at the wheel position, um, trying to fill the shoes of Leo Lowe. And uh, he's got the brains to do it, obviously. And he's also got the physical ability to do it as well. And uh, I just think, you know, our room is pretty stacked. Just, you know, it's it's going to be a, a really good room this year. Great. And, you know, the objectives in spring ball and the goals can be a little different than the, what they are as, as you head into summer training and spring and uh, fall camp, rather. Um, so for you, Caleb, kind of what are some of your biggest goals? What are you trying to work on in your game personally? What skills are you trying to hone? What do you want to walk away from that spring uh, black and gold game knowing as you head into the summer and into the next phase uh, for next season? Yes, sir. I think the biggest thing for me is uh, just the footwork in terms of seeing the, the, the defense, the defensive line, the offensive line moving in front of me, make sure I have good footwork there. And, um, because, you know, I, I mean, right now, I, I can tell you right now, I'm not a 4-6 four, four, guy right now, but I think uh, in terms of having good eyes, it can slow the game down for me, and um, I can play like a 4-6 guy for sure. But then another thing that I want to walk away from the spring is just, you know, the the trust in the the people that are going to be playing beside me um, moving into fall camp, just the, the type of defense that we leave out there on that black and gold game. And uh, that defense is going to be the same defense coming back in the fall. I want to make sure it's a – a defense that's willing to 
put everything forward to make sure we go undefeated this next season. Good stuff. So undefeated apparently is the goal. And uh, let me get in. That kind of brings me into my next question. You know, Army has been independent for over 20 years now and uh, getting ready to enter the first season in the American Athletic Conference. Um, you know, not sure if that's been on your mind and your teammates' minds as of yet. Um, but talk a little bit about, you know, what excites you potentially about the opportunity to win a conference championship and who knows, maybe even get into the expanded college football playoff next year. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that would be awesome. I think uh, coach Morgan said it best in the uh, team meeting this afternoon. He said, you know, army is uh, the best opponent. We're going to play all year long. So if we can beat them, we can week in and week out, you know, there's no doubt in my mind that we can make it to that conference championship and then win that game and, uh, and move on to possibly the college, you know, football playoffs. But, you know, it's, it starts, uh, the first week though against Lehigh. So don't really want to jump ahead, but you know, week in and week out, you know, we just got to beat ourselves. Um, we can't let army beat army. Okay. So that's really the biggest thing. I mean, I think we can do it. Absolutely. And along those lines, kind of in spring practice, um, are you primarily playing against army's offense or are they giving you guys some scout looks from some kind of more traditional offenses that you'll see during the year yet? Um, we're playing against Army's offense. I mean, they're moving back to the triple, as everybody knows. Um, so they're trying to set the uh, the standard for that offense again. And, and um, you know, we're seeing both the gun look and under center look. So that's kind of what we're seeing so far. Yeah, good stuff. And, um, you know, as as you go into next year and, and get ready for the season, kind of, um, you know, we talked a little bit about the conference, but, but trying to win one game at the time. And, and I felt like last year Army's defense – really improved from, uh, you know, had opened really well against ULM, um, but then kind of went, you know, and part of that was the quality of the opponents, obviously, but kind of went up and down a little bit before really finishing strong in November and <laughs> December. Um, what do you think the defense can do this year to kind of come out of the gate a little stronger and be more consistent throughout the 12 game season? Yes, sir. I mean, you said it best. I think, uh, you know, we started off pretty strong as ULM. Uh, offensively, we had some errors there that kind of resulted in the in the score there. But, um, you know, Coach Woody harps on it all the time. You know, we started a little bit slow last year, but we finished tremendously. Um, and that's something that we're really trying to do this year is we don't want to come out the gates slow and then slowly propel ourselves up. We want to come out the gates strong and just continue to have momentum as the season progresses. But I think, uh, I think the biggest thing is, you know, Spring ball when we scout for ourselves, um, we got to be this, the hardest scout team we see all year. Um, we got to make each other better in individual and in team reps. Um, and then just fall camp, you know, that's kind of where we make our money. We got to we gotta have a great fall camp this year. And uh, we do that. We come together and we have 11 guys that are willing to put everything on the table, every snap. I think defensively we'll be just fine. Outstanding. And last question before we let you go, Caleb, uh, you're from the uh, Knoxville, Tennessee area, Tennessee area, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Good stuff. You, you've got that Tennessee Peyton Manning kind of vibe to your, the way you <laughs> talk, which is kind of interesting. So uh, it, it's funny. I have a, a number of friends from the area and you guys all kind of have that, that talk about, you know, um, even though Peyton grew up in Mississippi, but he's really a Tennessee guy um, or Tennessee. Louisiana, I should say. But um you know, just uh, let the fans know before you go, um, have you selected an academic major yet? And if so, what is that? We like to always talk about that, obviously, with the emphasis today around NIL and Transfer Portal and everything else. We like to let the uh, the Army fans know that there are still some true student athletes out there. So go ahead. Absolutely, sir. I uh, selected civil engineering. Um, I'm studying that with my uh, twin brother, who's also an aspiring civil engineer here at the United States Military Academy. And uh, this year I'm taking some pretty heavy classes, um, some STEM classes, obviously, uh, physics two, engineering, math, and then uh, mechanics of materials. So it's a pretty uh, heavy course load this semester, but, um, you know, we're getting it done here, sir. Good stuff. Well, best of success to you throughout the rest of the spring, Caleb, and hope you have a great spring game and stay healthy and, and have a great next season. Thank you very much. Go Army, beat Navy. Be Navy. Thanks, sir.